Today, you're going to learn how to lose that 20 to 30 pounds of fat that just won't come off. Because you've turned 40, 50, 60, and those diets that used to just don't work anymore. You're frustrated, tired, and you just want to look at yourself in the mirror and love the way you look. Now, I'm going to tell you up front that those diets won't work for you anymore. The game has changed, and you need to try a different approach, which is lifestyle change. While optimizing your hormones and gut health. And now, while it may sound complicated to do, I'll be the first to say it's going to be much easier than it sounds and much easier than those diets you tried in the past. Because there's no strict dieting, no carb cutting, no hit workouts that hurt your knees. And you're not going to wake up every single morning miserable thinking, today is going to suck. Why should you, a 40 plus year old woman going through perimenopause, menopause, having kids, dealing with stressful jobs, and while trying to take care of everybody in your family, listen to me? My name's Tyler. I'm a nutrition coach specializing in women over 40, all because of my mom. My mom was diagnosed with early onset dementia at the age of 58. Now, dementia recently has been linked very strongly to diet and exercise. And I believe at that age, she was going through menopause and many of her symptoms were written off as menopause. And then menopause was just written off as, oh, it's just menopause. Whenever so many changes happen that are so frustrating and confusing and the doctors did not take care of her. Now, I'm going to tell you up front, it can be managed with diet. It can be managed with exercise. And I'm making it my mission to help as many women as possible go through this transition in life as easy as possible, all while losing that 20 to 30 pounds that they would love to lose. I also want to say I'm a huge mama's boy and happy Mother's Day. Now, there are three basic principles that need to be addressed when trying to lose fat in general, but also super important over 40 plus for women. I'm going to give you an overview in this video, but if you want to get into the nitty gritty details of what exactly you should be doing and kind of the nuanced scientific stuff that go along with these principles, I'm going to tell you how to get my free three-part training, but I'll get into that a little later in the video. So now let's get into the good stuff. Let's get to the principles. So sit down, grab your favorite drink, maybe a glass of wine, and let's get started. Principle number one, super important, is to build muscle. Don't just lose weight. Now you're probably saying, well, all I, all I want to do is lose weight. Why do I need to build the muscle? Won't that add weight? Why well, look bulky? And I'm here to say no to all of those things. You do want to lose weight. Yes, and losing weight is amazing. But losing weight at the cost of muscle is not ideal. And the way people have gone about it in the past and what you've probably been told to do will make you lose a lot more muscle than you should. And to get the body you truly want, muscle is actually going to help that come along a lot faster. Now, losing muscle as you age happens naturally. So I'm assuming that you've seen some strength losses, whether that's picking up your kids, taking the laundry to the laundry room, going upstairs, etc. You've seen some strength losses that aren't great and you're noticing them, which is case in point why muscle isn't just about the way you look, especially as you age. It's also going to help you make you feel a lot better and a lot more confident in your own body. Now, sarcopenia, which is degradation of muscle as you age, especially um, you know fat coming into the muscle over the muscle tissue, is becoming a lot more common. It started off and sarcopenia would start setting in around 60 or 70. But now people are seeing it come in around 45 or 50 and it's just getting younger and younger. And because you want to lose weight, muscle is going to help drastically with that. The more muscle you have, the better your metabolism is. The more muscle you have, the more exercise you can do day in and day out. The more muscle you have, the more calories you're going to burn just sitting around day to day. So that is principle number one, is to do resistance training two, three days a week. It doesn't have to be a lot. You can start where you are with what knowledge you have to build that muscle that you need. You should not feel like you have to go into the gym. I know it can be intimidating. You've probably never done it before, but you can start at home with just body weight stuff. And the last thing I'm going to say about muscle is that you are not going to get bulky. You're not going to look like a bodybuilder. Women that do look like that have to try really, really, really hard and eat a lot of food in order to do that. Now, principle number two is eating more protein. And I can almost guarantee that you're probably not eating enough. I coach a lot of women and every person that comes into my program, the first thing we work on most of the time is protein. Even the women that come in and say, well, I do put a focus on protein are very short on it. 50, 60 grams short on the protein that they should be getting. Now, why do you actually need more protein? Well, protein helps build that muscle that we just talked about. That's one thing. Protein also helps keep you full. So if you have these late night cravings or if you're hungry and snacky throughout the day, it's shown that you're not getting enough protein, probably not enough fiber either, but we'll talk about that later. The protein's gonna help keep you full. It's heavier on the stomach. Protein also burns more calories to digest. So it's gonna burn more calories than carbs or fats. I'm not saying carbs or fats are bad, you need both of those. But it's gonna burn more calories as you digest. And it's gonna help speed up your metabolism day to day. Now, as you're adding protein, you're gonna notice initially that you might start losing weight pretty quickly. 
because as you feel fuller, you're going to eat less, you're going to want to snack less, you're going to have less cravings, and that protein is going to burn a little bit more calories to maybe offset that calorie deficit. So you're going to instantly see great results, and you're probably also going to feel a lot better. But a couple things to be aware of. Protein is heavier on the stomach. It's harder to digest. So initially, you're going to feel very full. This will adjust. Your stomach will get used to that. So you're going to eat more protein, feel more full, just kind of stay at that protein amount that you're eating, and then go up slowly once you start getting used to that amount of protein. Now, if you were experiencing bloating or constipation, that is your sign to back off a little bit and probably add in a little bit of extra fiber to help with that digestion and to help with those bowel movements. Okay, I told you I had a guide to give away in this video, so I'm going to tell you how to get that now. The guide is called my Fat Loss Forever Training. It's a three-part video series, and you can get it by clicking the link in the description. What the guide is gonna tell you in the three videos. Video one is gonna be about the biggest mistakes you're making on your fat loss journey. Video two is gonna tell you how to fix those mistakes and what you actually should be doing. And then video three is gonna give any specific scenarios that might be to you that you can learn from. Again, to get this training, just click the link in the description. Now back to the final fat loss principle. All right, principle number three is gonna sound counterintuitive. It's to make sure you are eating enough food to fuel your body. Now you might be thinking, I know I'm supposed to eat less in order to lose weight. That's true. But what has happened with diet culture and what diet culture has probably taught you over the years is that you need to eat as little as possible and burn as many calories as possible in order to lose weight. As you hit 40, 50, 60, and this isn't great for people in their 20s either, you can't do this anymore. You have to fuel your body to perform. Day-to-day -day functions, not even going to the gym or running or anything like that. You have to fuel your body to perform day-to-day -day functions. And I know it sounds really counterintuitive, but you're going to feel so much better and you're not going to gain the weight back like all those diets in the past because you're not going to have any metabolic adaptation, which I will explain in another video. But essentially, it's when you eat too little for so long, that your metabolism says, we can't do this anymore. We need to adjust down to this 1200 calories a day. And so then your body just adjusts to that 1200 calorie burn. And then you have to eat less and less and less in order to lose weight. Now, do you think if you're eating that little, over and over and over again, that your body has the nutrients and fuel it actually needs to perform daily tasks for your brain to work properly and anything like that? No, probably not. So you need to eat enough food in order to feel good. But why does burning more calories and eating as little as possible not work? Why does it not work, especially for people 40, 50, 60? Now, the first reason it doesn't work is your stress. You have a tough job. You're dealing with kids. You're not getting great sleep. You're not getting the food you need on top of that, which causes extreme stress on the body. Now, this doesn't work because cortisol being spiked increases fat stores. Fat loves stress. Now, I'm not saying you should go quit your job to lower your stress, but increasing your food, making sure you're getting enough water, making sure you're not exercising way too hard is a great first step. The second reason why this doesn't work anymore is your hormone changes, especially as you're going into perimenopause, menopause, your estrogen gets tanked. Now, your body is already dealing with those hormone changes. You're learning how to deal with those hormone changes. If you add on a calorie deficit or you cut out carbs on top of that, your body's preferred energy source and your brain runs on glucose from those carbs, it's not going to be pretty. You're going to feel terrible. You're not going to be able to lose the weight and your body's going to fight back. And then number three is going to be your metabolic health. This kind of goes along with your muscle and your hormones. Your hormones control your metabolism. That comes with thyroid, cortisol, insulin, things like that. The more muscle you have, the better metabolic health you have. And as you age, as you lose muscle, as your hormones change, your metabolic health being poor, your metabolism is going to slow down drastically. And if you add a huge calorie deficit on top of this, your metabolism is going to slow down even more and more and more, like that metabolic adaptation we talked about. So in order to fight back against these things, eating enough food is key, and fueling with the right foods is the second key, because that's going to put your body into a state of like satisfaction your body's going to think, oh, we can release some of these fat stores. We're not nearly as stressed. We have the fuel we actually need. But if you're still in a caloric deficit, just not as much of one, you're going to shed fat. Not to mention, you're going to feel way better than you do right now. But in order to do this properly, you have to find the right balance for your body. Because we talked about building muscle, but you can't be in a large caloric deficit and build muscle at the same time. And you can't eat way too much because you're going to gain the weight back if you're trying to lose weight. So you have to find the right balance for you. You have to fuel your body the right way. And you can't try and turn left and right at the same time. Now, I hope this video really cleared some things up for you because you've been struggling to do these diet after diet after diet and you haven't seen the results you really want to see. I would love it if you could take this video and see the results 
you truly want to see because it is my mission, like I said at the beginning, to help as many women as possible struggling over their 40s, 50s, and 60s through menopause, through perimenopause, through these hormone changes to see the fat loss they want to see, to protect their brain health, and to feel great every day. And I would love it if I could help you do that. Now, if you found this useful, feel free to hit subscribe. Go check out my previous video, which is all about how to get more protein in. And I'll see you next Sunday.